Hi, this is David, and today we're going to help, help you uh, learn how to dissolve tricontinol. It's a plant growth hormone, and it's one of the best that I've found for increasing the size and rate of growth of plants. Um, but it's not easily, uh, actually it's not at all, uh, dissolvable in water, so you have to go through a bit of a process to, to get it to do that. And so that's what we're going to do today, show you how to do that uh, successfully. Uh, so you're going to need some, some equipment and you're going to need some materials. The, um, you're going to need a one-fourth teaspoon measuring spoon and a one tablespoon uh, measuring spoon. You're going to need a measuring cup. You're going to need a quart container. You're going to need a microwave oven. And you're going to need some triconol and some polysorbate 20 and water. Now, uh, there are other ways to do this, um, but I've decided that this is the best way to do it because one of the other ways to do it is to use uh, alcohol and um, alcohol is poisonous to plants number one uh, number two uh, heating um, a flammable substance in a microwave oven doesn't seem like a great idea to me so um, none of this is flammable so we don't have to worry about that uh, <clears throat> So first off, we're going to uh, measure out two tablespoons of polysorbate 20. Now all of this is available, uh, I'm going to use this other over here instead, but uh, all of this is available on, uh, on my site, planthormones.net, but it's also available at, at other places. So don't, uh, I think you'd have to necessarily buy it there. Uh, so. I'm going to do two tablespoons here, and one, and two, of uh, that, and then four tablespoons of, of water, accordion. Uh, It's going to be a little awkward pointing out of here. Um, actually, before I had it, I poured it in here. I think I'll do that this time. And it's a little easier to pour out of this container than something larger. Okay, so now we're going to do four tablespoons of water. This doesn't have to be terribly accurate at this point. It's just, you know, worth two. Three and four. Um, none of this actually has to be terribly accurate, but it's just a matter of getting it in a ballpark uh, where um, it'll be somewhere between 100 and 150 parts per million, which is close to the ideal for most plants, although. They do vary a bit, you know, depending on plants, some plants will take more, some will take less. And depending on the plant and, and environmental conditions, you might have to do a bit of experimenting to find out what, what may work best for your particular situation. So a level teaspoon of that in there. And the, the next thing we need to do is we need to I heat this in the microwave, that's against the, that piece of equipment, because at room temperature it's not going to even come close to, to dissolving. We have to actually get it up to uh, boiling for that to happen. So I'm going to set this on uh, 30 seconds. I don't want to actually want it to boil over um, because that, if it does that, 
then uh, you're going to lose some of your uh, tricontinal and um, and then your uh, parts per million would could be uh, way off. Uh, I'm currently conducting an experiment and this is actually first of a series that I plan on doing where I'm going to spray them with tricontinol with uh, salicylic acid and uh, adian uh, and to see which one has the best effect on tomatoes, strawberries and pepper. Okay, we'll take a check C here and see if, if uh, that cleared up and the answer is well it's uh it's getting there it's a little more clear than it was let's, let's give it another 20 seconds I, I don't want it to boil over but i do want it to get really really hot so that it will dissolve and sometimes i've had it actually uh cloud back up when uh when i mixed it in with the, with the water so what we're going to do at that point is okay that looks that looks pretty good so um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, add some water here and uh, and heat this so that when when this is mixed in then it doesn't it doesn't come out of solution again so we'll just put in, it doesn't really matter, I just, I just want enough to have it nice and nice and hot. So we're going to put this in for uh, probably uh, three minutes because we've got quite a bit of water here. Um, so like I was saying, we're actually um, going to tr do this experiment over time over this uh, this summer to find out uh, what the effects will be on the plants and then I will uh, be keeping track of that on uh, probably a weekly basis and filming that and seeing how the plants do and then uh, and then uh, putting that online so that you can see what uh, what develops uh, I would be surprised if uh, the the, uh, the answer is that uh, this is going to make them, the plants grow faster than the others. Although if you look at salicylic acid, salicylic acid is really good for helping plants to deal with cold and um, with disease, um, with uh, with insects, uh, as well as uh, idian is uh, also. Are pretty good at, at all of those things as well um, and in the Pacific Northwest here we we do have a problem in raising tomatoes that uh, can deal with uh, cooler temperatures that we have here because uh, tomatoes are essentially a tropical plant and when the temperatures drop below uh, 70 uh, and they stop growing and often even in the summertime, we'll have temperatures uh, below uh, 70, even even uh, in uh, in mid in, even in midsummer. Uh, so I'd be interested to see how how that uh, affects the, the growth of the tomatoes in, in that case. I do sell a number of different hormones on uh, on PlantHormones.net. Um, they are available out elsewhere. Yeah, I, I sell them on uh, eBay and, uh, and some on Amazon, eBay, and uh, Bonanza. Uh, there are others selling them as well. So you have a selection of uh, places that you might be able to, to buy that and places that you can also buy uh, polysorbate 20 um, and the other hormones as well. Are, uh, are widely available on, on the internet. So we'll take a look and see here and see how this is uh, this temperature is doing. It looks like it's just about ready here. That's uh, fairly warm. I think I think we'll be uh, we'll be okay. We'll see if uh, 
So we'll see if I let it uh, heat up enough. If it doesn't turn cloudy again, then, then we're good. If it does, then we can we can heat it again. And it looks like we, we have success there. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add this up to the to the one quart line. And we're about there now. Okay, so this is this is one quart of of four times solution. What I mean by four times solution, this is a four times concentrate. This is not what you want to, to spray on the plants. It's too concentrated. If you spray uh, tricontinol and, and uh, the other hormones as well in, in too concentrated a form, then you can have a an opposite effect. It can actually inhibit growth. So we don't want to uh, do that. So uh, right now, what we have is a four times um, a four times concentrate. And so if I took a cup of this and then added a uh, added three more cups to it to make a to make a quart another quart then I would have the proper dilution so this is actually enough to make a gallon uh, if it's fully when it's fully diluted of solution so uh, so a tiny tiny little bit of tricontinol makes a whole gallon uh, fully diluted solution. So it doesn't, uh, if you buy, you know, a lot of times people will buy, well, the, the 50, uh, 50 gram size. Well, that's fine if you've got a lot of plants. But if you don't, you know, you, uh, probably for most of you, just uh, maybe using it around the house, um, some plants, uh, some plants in the home or plants outside, uh, probably 10 grams would last you, uh, uh, quite a while. So that's it and uh, keep tuned uh, for uh, the uh, we're going to do uh, salicylic acid next and uh, describe how to, to uh, dissolve that and then we'll uh, be moving on to uh, Hydean. So thank you for watching.